Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess and I'm back again with another video. I'm so excited for this video because I feel like it's long overdue. I, yeah, it's long overdue. So this video is pretty much gonna be um, my skincare routine. Not necessarily a routine, but um, all the products I use on a day-to-day -day basis and then some products that I use like once a week or once every two weeks, um, but I still use them so I'm gonna share them. Over the years, I've had a lot of people like comment on my skin. I do have very good skin. Um, a lot of, like a huge percent of what your skin looks like or like the composition of your skin, the oiliness, dryness, um, whether you have combination skin that largely has to do with genetics. Um, I have really good genes. I'm gonna just say that. Um, and I feel like it's really important if you're gonna watch this video, the first thing you need to understand is that again, the way your skin looks and appears is based almost solely on genetics and so there are a lot of people out there who will take good care of their skin um have good habits good eating habits um good skincare routine and still find that they are not satisfied with their skin they're still having complications with their skin um and that's the case because literally dna <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm here today to share with you guys some of the products that I use. I've had a lot of people ask me. It's not too much, but it's enough where I can like show you guys and maybe if you're interested in um, purchasing some of the products, like I'll let you know where I got them from. Um, I don't get my skincare products from just one place. I don't go to specific places for skincare necessarily unless I'm going online and shopping for um, skincare products. Um, what I'll do is like I'll go to Marshall's and just look in the skincare aisle and like where they have the hair products and everything If you think you'll be interested in buying any of these products, let me know down below um, And if, if you like this video in general, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and let's get right into the video Okay, so I think I should start off with like what I use to wash my face Primarily I use this um, clean and clear morning burst facial cleanser. I just keep this in the shower um, Yeah, it just stays in the shower and I use it basically every day like when I go to the gym I'll make sure I get a lot of this and really get into my skin and clean it And what I use with that is this spin brush that I got from vanity planet. It's pretty popular You can it's like a sonic is that what it's called? A sonic spin brush? It's like that, but this is from Vanity Planet. You can basically get this from anywhere, and if you don't want to pay the full price, I think this was like $45. If you don't want to pay that price, they're like re reusable ones. I don't recommend it because like technically you'll be spending more money because um, you have to replace it often, but with this, all you need to do is replace like the, the head of it. I feel like when I was younger, I would clean my face with like a washcloth and I feel like over the years I've determined that it's not really sanitary and then also when I got my nose piercing I needed something that would give me a deeper clean with this you have bristles that are like actually going in and cleaning that area without you having to use like a washcloth and like worrying about maybe bumping the nose piercing a little bit or like anything like that so yeah talking about products we use to wash our face I'm gonna introduce you guys to this Queen Helen Volcanic Ash Scrub. Now I don't use this every day because it is an, exfol it is an exfoliant. Um, I don't exfoliate my face every day, I just make sure to use the spin brush every day. Um, but yeah, this is the Volcanic Ash Scrub. I use it probably, I would say, if not once a week, every two weeks, or um, every three weeks. Like. That's the thing, like when it comes to skincare and when it comes to health and when it comes to like any anything like that, you really have to just pay attention to your body, pay attention to your skin. Um, I may need to use this once a week or once every two weeks, but if you have, um, let's say, more acne prone skin, you may want to use it more. It's charcoal, it's literally charcoal. And you use that to like um, get deeper into your pores and get all the impurities out. Um, what I use is the Sailor by Captain Blankenship. It's a product from um, Marshalls. Like Marshalls has all these little skincare products that are like really good. Not all of it is good, but you have to really have an eye for like skincare products to go in and really choose like the really good ones. I feel like. And this was only. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys where I got this volcanic ash scrub. This was from Sally. Sally beauty i think i got it like two years ago i'm not sure 
and it's still pretty full so that's how you know like i don't use it all the time but it is something that i'll go in and use when i feel like my skin needs it back to the sailor by captain blankenship um smooth sailing gentle resurfacing mask that's a mouthful so this is what it looks like it's basically what it looks like and it's not an exfoliant but it's 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 hard to describe it's more like a cream product that you put on top of your face and for me what it does is just I feel like my skin soaks it soaks into my skin and it makes it softer like visibly softer and so I feel like that helps with like fine lines and stuff I like basically don't have like no no <laughs> no um so yeah I really like this product it says it includes aloe and pineapple what I'll do is I'll wash my face and make sure it's clean and I'll make sure it's damp as well. So maybe after I wash my face and dry it, I'll put some more water on and then put a few pumps of this on my um, fingertips and rub it together and just like, it's a very, it's not a thick product. And that's what I like about it. It doesn't feel like it's like literally weighing down on your skin, um, but it makes your skin visibly softer. And I just love it. I also have this hyaluronic acid that I've had for pretty much a long time. It's also from Marshalls. I've had it for like two years. I don't use it um, a lot. I feel like when it comes to skincare, um, I feel like people have this misconception that you have to use things like religiously, which to a degree is true for you to see results, but like I don't use these products every single day. There are some days, most of the time, I would just like use the clean and clear and the spin brush and wash my face and like put some lotion and moisturize my face and that's it um but like i'll go in with the hyaluronic acid when i feel like my skin is acting up a bit and what i mean by that is i'll like see like some pimples not pimples but like y'all know when you get like heat bumps or just like irritation to the skin visible irritation to the skin and you're like I know that's from when I touch my face when my face when my hands weren't clean so like in in that case I'll go in with the hyaluronic acid after I wash my face um, either in the morning or during the nighttime I like to use it in the morning for some reason but yeah I'll go in with the hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is just it's it's known for like bone growth and like skin regeneration and replenishing your skin but that's the thing. You have to play you have to pay close attention to like the way some of these products make your your skin feel. Like for me when I put hyaluronic acid on my skin, I feel like my skin is hydrated. I feel like my skin like it's literally a new layer of skin. And so it's not necessarily about the actual ingredients that's in it. It's more about how those ingredients in the product make your skin feel at the end of the day because you could you could have a product that has like really good ingredients it's amazing for your skin but it literally just makes your skin feel dry like it dries out your skin or it does something else to your skin that you don't like and so in that case you would go ahead and like switch it out because even though the product has really good ingredients in it it's not working for your skin and so you have to listen to your skin and really understand what you're missing the next thing i use in terms of cleansing my face is this um thayers or thayers i don't i'm not sure how you say it but it's a facial toner my camera won't focus it's a facial tone it's facial toner with witch hazel in it um this wasn't a part of my skincare routine for the longest time i just started using it like my sophomore year like spring semester i went to the store and I'm like oh this seems like it's it would be good for my skin I smelled it smelled good like you know some products just have that like clean smell you just know you just know and so <laughs> when I picked up this product I was like yeah it's gonna be good for my skin um and witch hazel just helps to really clean clear up your skin um I'm pretty sure witch hazel kills bacteria don't quote me on that but I know witch hazel does a lot with like people who have who are acne prone and are prone to acne and have acne it helps to clean out the pores like literally and so what i'll do is i'll take the witch hazel i'll pour some on a cotton um cotton ball and i'll go like literally all over my face wipe my entire face um do that like two or three times um 
but I'll make sure that my skin is clear first. So like no matter what I do, my skin has to be clean first, right? So this is always, this is literally always the first step. My spin brush and my facial cleanser. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go in with the witch hazel and clean my face. This is basically for a deeper clean. Like what I notice is that like when I go to the gym and I use the facial cleanser and the spin brush and I like pat my face dry and I go in with the witch hazel, I still see like that my face is not like a thousand like a hundred percent clean and that's how i know this is like doing its job the next thing i'll go in with is a moisturizer so after i've used my spin brush and cleansing and cleanser spin brush and cleanser and i've used my witch hazel or i've used my hyaluronic acid i let that dry and soak into my skin i'll go in with a moisturizer now what moisturizer do i use i use the pond's moisturizer this is what i use i know a lot of like like don't pay attention to my nails like i feel like my nails are never my nails are never done when i do videos <laughs> it's just it is what it is um they're either done or they look really bad but anyways i use this pond's moisturizer and I got this from the dollar, I think I got this from Dollar General. It was on sale. <laughs> At first I was like, I'm not exactly sure if I should be getting skincare from the dollar store, but Dollar Tree, Dollar General, they've stepped their game up. And sometimes just because something is on sale doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. So I just picked it up. It's the Pond Dry Skin Cream Facial Moisturizer. It's light, like it feels light on your skin and it takes a while to like, for your skin to absorb it and so what i'll do is like i'll literally be standing there for a whole minute like or two minutes trying to like moisturize it into my skin and have it like not be apparent on my skin anymore um but yeah i find that it's really great like especially if i want to do makeup like as a primer as a moisturizer not a primer sorry it's a really great product um and then i have two moisturizers that one and then this one is from Ole Henriksen. This is a small little sample size um, product from Ole Her Henriksen. Right, so yeah, my camera is just deciding not to focus, but this is um, the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. It has multi-fruit acids and antioxidants. Um, yeah, so this, it's exactly what it sounds like. And I have the sample size only because, and it's not even a sample size, this is, supposedly like the the small the small version of like the actual size but it's not a sample size if that makes sense like it's larger than a sample size and the reason for that is Ole Henriksen is it's kind of expensive it's a little bit on the pricier side when it comes to skincare so I tend not to really buy things from there but like I think one day I was like okay my skin's acting up a bit and I really want to splurge a little bit and get me something nice and so I got me this Ole Henriksen moisturizer like I was like let me not wear a make let me not wear makeup for a skincare video you know what I'm saying so yeah this is the other moisturizer that I use I'll probably use this at night I tend to use this at night because I want to have time to let it soak in and then I'll use this during the day and then the absolute last product and a product that's like very special to me only because it's helped with like i don't know if you guys know but like my nose piercing got infected and i've been like treating it for a few months and this product has honestly been like a lifesaver and i went from using it um, on my nose piercing to putting a little bit in my lotion and rubbing it all over my face and that product is tea tree oil tea tree oil can we say that again tea tree oil but yeah this is tea tree oil what i'll do is i'll um put like one or two drops into my palm put my lotion rub it together and then go on my face and i'll feel like it'll actually burn a little bit and that's what tea tree oil does like if you have any cuts on your face or anything um it will help with healing but it will burn and it feels just a little too strong so you've got to make sure you put the right amount um and a good amount of lotion in your hands as well it's, it smells very strong it's just very strong um but yeah definitely make sure it's 100 percent like essential oil um, i don't know what else they have out there but i know a lot of it a lot of the products that i've seen in terms of like tea tree oil have to say or they say 100 percent pure essential oil 
because you don't want products mixed with other things yeah yeah so that's pretty much all i do it's not hard it's not complicated um but i've also never been the type to have acne um only because of genetics as i told you guys but i'm very consistent when it comes to washing my face i'm human there are times where i go to bed and i don't wash my face not with makeup on not with makeup on but there are definitely times where i'm like i really can't even do this like tonight i'll just go to bed but for the most part you just want to make sure you're consistent have a have a cleanser go to cvs go to walmart whatever wherever family dollar get you a good cleanser a cleanser that doesn't have too much of a fragrance you know you don't want like perfumes in your skincare products um some smell is okay like i think the um clean and clear morning burst has some sort of a smell but it's not a lot some tips I have is to definitely be consistent. I feel like everyone says that, but like consistency really matters. Make sure you're washing your face as much as possible. Even washing your face three times a day is not is not overdoing it. Washing your face three times a day is not overdoing it. When you wake up in the morning, you wash your face. If you go to the gym, you wash your face again. And then before bed, you wash your face. That's three times, and that's, that's not overdoing it in my opinion. Um, and make sure when you wash your face, you're also moisturizing it to the max or as much as your face is telling you your skin is telling you that you need listen to your skin and your skin will appear the way you want it to appear it's like health what you put into your body reflects out of it you eat good food your skin's radiant your skin's clear your skin's beautiful it's the same thing um yeah be consistent don't use products that have a lot of like scent to it like a lot of perfume um don't don't exfoliate your face every single day i feel like people think because they're exfoliating in their face like it means that just because they're exfoliating and getting that clean deep that deep clean they feel like it's a good thing um you can there is such a thing as stripping the um, oils off of your skin like when you shower too much when you shower like more than two times a day you're stripping the oils off your body and it's not good um it's this, the same thing goes for your skin on your face um don't be using the volcanic ash three times a day don't be using the volcanic ash more than two times a week um i understand people have different skin types i use it like at least once a week or once every two weeks as i said but don't be using this twice a day sis no you don't want to like no 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 make sure you're gentle to your skin is another tip um you're moisturizing your skin and yeah that's pretty much it and the last tip the absolute last tip this is like I feel like skincare is um like when you're ranking like what helps to better your skin first is genetics right it's all due to genetics but two is the amount of water you drink the amount of water you drink like i have a cup right here it's it's pretty much empty but like yeah the amount of water you drink really impacts like your skin and the health of your skin and the appearance of your skin the brightness of your skin the dullness of your skin like all of that and so you want to really make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Get yourself a water bottle, sis. Get yourself a water bottle. <sighs> I can't stress that enough. Like, drinking water is so important. Honestly, my skin looks so good. I <laughs> My skin looks so good. I'll be drinking my water. I'll be drinking my water. I'll be cleaning my face, moisturizing. Okay. But yeah, drink water. It's genetics. Drinking water good practices good skincare routine um and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy this video it's been long overdue i did do a skincare video like a while ago i'm um, when i first started my channel but like i don't know i feel like it wasn't as um like it just needed to be updated and so i decided to do that because i am using new products um i hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up i'm so glad to be back i love being on my channel i love filming videos i love being a creator and i love giving helpful um tips to you guys and i love when people are just i love when people are helping and i love when people are being helped and so 
if you go ahead and buy any of these products if you think you will buy any of these products if you're using any of these products go ahead and let me know let me know like how it's working for you um but yeah thank you for tuning in make sure you subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye